The closet was not a good place to hide. If they found me, I would have no place to run. I looked out of the windows to see if anyone was coming in my direction. I went upstairs where I would have a better view. The coast seemed clear though the helicopter was still circling around. I decided to go downstairs after a while. I was getting hungry, so I began preparing dinner. The food was ready to be cooked, but I went to look outside one last time before turning on the oven. And then I saw it. At first it was one... And then another one showed up. They were looking for me. I closed the curtains. If they saw me, I would have no place to run. Dinner had to wait. I went upstairs. I saw them searching the woods. They must not know I'm inside. More of them started showing up. Maybe I could wait it out, but it is boring inside. I ate some chips I had in my bag. Oh, no, they are moving closer. I was afraid to walk around my own house. Seeing them around every corner of the streets gave me hope that they did not know I was inside this house. But they could still suddenly come upstairs anytime. I decided to wait, but it got boring. I turned off the lights, gathered my courage, and went downstairs. One of them was staring directly into my soul from across the street, or so I thought. I quickly grabbed some books and made my way back upstairs and read deep into the night. The next morning the sound of the helicopter was gone. The awaited thunderstorm was moving in closer. Although it was quite wet from the rain, it was at least bright outside. Now it was my turn to strike, and under the sound of the roaring thunder I hit them, I hit them hard. Death was always close, but it would not have me today. Over here. Finally the battle was over. I was victorious and got to live to see another day.